disappearance of Teresa Halbach remains a mystery. Mr. Avery's blood is found inside of Teresa Halbach's vehicle. Hey, everybody's listening. What do you want to say today? I'm listening. Mm. Netflix is making a murderer thrust the story of Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey into the headlines in 2017. It's been a true crime craze ever since. Both Brendan and Stephen have been in prison since 2007 for the murder of Teresa Halbach. Yes, and now director Sean Reck is working on a new series convicting a murderer, aiming to fill in the holes to the story we all thought we knew. Yeah. And folks, we might have a bombshell confession. There's an awful lot of evidence uh, that we're going to present and how the story was told and how people were were possibly misled. This is not a stale retelling of a story that I've already seen. Which included doing an interview with a current inmate who allegedly wrote a letter to the director regarding the case. The goal of the letter was to further implicate Stephen Avery and with hearsay information. And our attempt was to fact check, debunk, confront this person with some inconsistencies and some things that uh, we think told us that the letter may not be legitimate. But when they went to confront the inmate, they got much more than that. We set up a jail call to talk to this person about that letter, and rather than talk about the letter and defend the letter, the person immediately uh, said that the letter was not true and said that they, in fact, had killed Teresa Holbach. He went on to explain how he also tried to frame the homeowner, who happened to have been Stephen Avery. Sean can't reveal who the inmate is until authorities check into the story, but he did tell us this. This person is a Wisconsin inmate in jail for killing another human being. I was stunned. What he says roughly matches the publicly known timeline. When it was all said and done, it's not something that should be ignored, especially when two men are rotting in prison. Wow. And breaking news, this just in, the director, Sean Reck, has released the name of the inmate who allegedly confessed to Teresa's murder, Joseph W. Evans, Jr. We reached out to his attorney, but have not heard back. And in a statement, Kathleen Zellner, Stephen Avery's attorney, said in part, the confession is not credible because there are a number of witnesses on the property. It is in Mr. Avery's self-interest for someone else to confess, but not if it is patently false. I've seen it all, Allison, from the beginning. We've spoken about it. You know I think Avery is guilty. Yeah. Guilty of sin from the get. And Brandon Dassey, poor thing, because I know he struggles. I, thi I think there's some guilt there, too. I know. But well, let me ask you this. Joseph Evans Jr., this guy who confessed to the murder, mm -hmm. first he said that Avery confessed right. to him. Right. And now he's changing. You know what? He didn't do it. I did it. And he's there locked up for murder. Not a credible guy, exactly. Okay, first of all, jailhouse snitches, for the most part, are not credible, Thank period. You. So in 2016, he sends out a nine-page letter describing how Stephen Avery sat next to him and confessed to this murder. And at that time, nobody believed him. Now, there was a $100,000 reward offered for any information about the killer. Mm. So what does he do? He writes a letter. <laughs> I did it. I did he says, I did it. I did it. Could you give me the money? Well, first right. of all, that's not really how it works. <laughs> and he sends a deposit slip, which is incredible, right? And he wants $13,000 deposited on his books immediately. However, however, he is a convicted murderer. He does provide a lot of facts about the case. He could have read about them. And it has to be looked into. It absolutely has to be vetted by law enforcement to see if it's possible that it's true. Why does it matter to me, Mario? Big deal. Brendan yeah, Dessey, you and I have talked about this for years. I don't think he did it. I don't think he did it. Brendan Dessey, and he's out of appeals. The Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court, denied his petition. Yeah. It is his he, only hope gone. of ever getting released, ever. God bless you. We're going to agree to disagree. Okay. I think he did it intentionally. Okay. We'll talk about the appeal later. Well, we're you, you need to catch see what happens, yes. Allison. Great stuff. I'm riveted. Unbelievable. <laughs> if you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.